Donald Trump's drive to block Mitt Romney from Senate stumbles president hasn't hidden his disdain for Romney. Now, however, Trump might have to live with him in Congress. Orrin Hatch announced on Tuesday that he will not seek re-election later this year, clearing the way for Mitt Romney, a top critic of President Donald Trump, to run for, and likely win, the seat. Every good fighter knows when to hang up the gloves. And for me, that time is soon approaching, Hatch, the president pro tempore of the Senate, said in a video posted to Twitter. That's why aft. Her much prayer and discussion with family and friends, I've decided to retire at the end of this term. Hatch, 83, is the longest-serving GOP senator and serves as the chairman of the Senate Finance Committee, a post that allowed him to spearhead successful efforts to overhaul the U.S. tax code. He first entered the Senate in 1977. Recently, Hatch won praise from Trump over his efforts to push the tax reform legislation over the finish line. Hatch returned the favor, calling Trump one Hecuba leader, and one of the best presidents, maybe ever. The love fest led to speculation that the senator would seek re-election. That speculation grew when Trump tried to encourage Hatch to do so, ostensibly as a way to block Romney, the 2012 GOP presidential nominee, from running for the seat. But the persuasion campaign was not sufficient. A source close to Romney told the Daily Beast that he is indeed likely to run for Hatch's seat though an announcement was not likely to be soon, out of deference to retiring senator. They were waiting on a decision, the source said. They didn't know what it was going to be. I think they're surprised it came this quickly. But the expectation is he will run now. Romney. Why himself furthered that speculation on Tuesday afternoon when, just hours after Hatch's announcement, he changed his location on Twitter from Massachusetts to, Holiday, Hoot. The Romney bid would present a tricky dilemma for the White House. In the 2016 campaign Romney gave a high-profile speech calling Trump a con man. In recent months, the former presidential candidate has been a vocal critic of Trump, taking to Twitter to blast the president on a variety of subjects. Trump has not hid his disdain for Romney. In fact, he has at times